Are we um, gonna go to school or? No. What's two plus two? Um, I wanted to start with, I know while you guys were filming, uh, I think, Caitlin, you posted an Instagram, there was a photo of you guys side by side, well, I'm going deep, side by side of a photo with uh, Thelma and Louise. Yes! And I wonder, is yeah. This, is this, do we do we feel Molly and Amy are like this modern day Thelma oh. and Louise? Like what's? Yes, there's yes. actually in the credit sequence of the movie, there's a Polaroid of us taking a Polaroid. That's like a callback to that Yeah, we photo. were trying to copy exactly that Their photo. Their position yeah. and everything. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a movie that is, you know, an iconic female friendship and we were hoping to create a friendship that ran true to people, yeah. so definitely. Are there are there other big like movie duos or friendships that you wanted to emulate? Um, a lot of TV ones like Brides. Lizzie McGuire. Oh yeah, oh, Lizzie yeah. McGuire. As mm. we say, Broad City. Broad City's mm -hmm. a big one. Um, the all the girls in Bridesmaids are mm -hmm. iconic yeah. to us, and that film is about female friendship at a different time of life. Yeah. Um, but even like. You know, we all got together, Olivia got the whole cast together to watch Fast Times at Ridgemont High, mm -hmm. which is such a great ensemble yeah. piece and really a generational anthem for that time. And we got together and watched that movie, which was really cool to have that as inspiration and kind of uh, vibe for the yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is kind of like, I mean, there's a big ensemble. It is yeah. kind of like fast and loose in that way. Totally. So I, I totally, I love that comparison. Um, Specific line that Olivia told me was a beanie original. I wanted to call out was the uh, the fact that Amy had an early crush on a on the white Aristocat, which I thought was so good. Um, Literally, when it, when she said that for the first time, the reason, I lost. Yeah, the reason that I'm so proud of it is because of how hard it made Kate. Laugh. <laughs> it, I lost it. It was. Um, I it was think one of those now things that maybe you just it was my first accept. crush. I think yeah. <laughs> I literally, it's one of those things you just do not expect. I did did not expect Yeah, that. and it made her laugh so hard, and so it was really a pride and joy for me. But I hate cats. Like, okay. I despise cats, but I love Lewis cats. So I just want to make that distinction. Sure. Clear. Good, good thing. Sure. Sure. Make that clear. <laughs> well, I mean, based off of that, I was going to ask if you guys had any weird childhood crushes you remember, cartoons or something. Oh, mine was Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Just, that's it. Like, from the time I could mm -hmm. walk, I was like, <laughs> It was the saxophone, I assume. It's <laughs> just everything. <laughs> Dynamic man. I remember Jim Carrey mm. in The Mask. Oh, yeah. With the mask on? That's As important. As the mask, I think, yeah, probably. Yeah. But, like, with and mm -hmm. without the mask, <laughs> honestly. Those are great. Oh, what is this? We ask the questions! Oh, my God. How old are you? Does not matter! So Amy and Molly really, there's a lot that they have in common. We learn a little bit as the movie goes along. They love Ken Burns documentaries. Yes. I'm wondering if that was something that you guys connected on. Like what, what brought the two of you closer together? What <sighs> country interest? music? Country music was a nice. big, uh, like honestly shocking for the both of us. Because Caitlin we cannot <laughs> believe that I. <laughs> still shocking a year in. <laughs> And once again, it's still and shocking. And once again. Um, <laughs> no, because you like, like musicals. I, I still and don't understand. <laughs> from LA. I don't know. It's, but, but really I made her, yeah. I love country music. Mm -hmm. I made her a playlist. Song. It's a story song. That's all it is. I it really it. is. That's why I love it. That's what I love about her. There we go. We only listen to Casey Musgraves. Yeah, I was that was say like Casey. we're hoping she's gonna notice us at some point. It's like so our dream. Maybe tag her in this video or something. It just we can arrange that. Really she, hoping. That I swear, I hear any song on that album because mm -hmm. it came out like right when we were right, filming right. the movie, and I'm with Caitlin. Like wherever I am we in the world, the, in she's the like right everywhere. with me. Everywhere yeah. we went. That's so special. Um, yeah. I love that album too. So, yeah. so we'll, we'll tag her. We'll tag her. Okay. Okay. Um, so Olivia, obviously an actor herself, and I wondered like what what is that? What kind of a difference does that make to have the actor behind the camera? How, does she approach things differently? Is it easier for you guys then? It's so. It makes it so easy. She, it mm -hmm. was just the the flow of the set was just yeah. unbelievable. I think she knows how to make an actor feel comfortable mm -hmm. because she's been in that actor position so many times. Uh, so she was able to sort of pull from all of her experiences and create literally the dream set that she wanted to yeah. make. Yeah, I mean, I, I mostly have worked with actors that yeah. turn directors, so it's such a, it's such an inspirational thing, I think, for both of us to yeah. watch mm -hmm. Olivia, and, and it's, it's just, you know, actors have the unique privilege of being on so many different sets and working with so many directors, so we actually, you know, Olivia, and the same thing with Greta Gerwig, she said to me that she would 
she got to pull from all these different directors that she hmm. um, has the, had the privilege of working with. And so when we would we were working with Liv, she was like, you know, Scorsese has has <laughs> this thing that he does, and Spike Jones has this thing that he does, and and um, Reed Morano has this thing that she does, and and we were so inspired to hear where all of these kind of nuggets of oh. wisdom came from. Yeah. yeah. So it's almost like you're working with all these. Other yeah, directors. exactly. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, was there any? Were there any particular scenes that were were like really challenging and you need to kind of rely on each other, or Olivia, to get you through? <sighs> the fight. The, the fight. Yeah. Yeah. It was, Amazing. It was the very unique scene for us because it was the only scene we didn't run together. Like we didn't run lines together mm -hmm. before we filmed it. For mm -hmm. every other scene, we had run it so many times, so we knew kind of what the other person, where they were headed, what they were doing. And yeah, and, and Olivia. Fight. Yeah, Olivia wanted it to be um, all in one take, mm -hmm. and that was a little nerve wracking for us. But we had already created this trust um, yeah. before we started even shooting that we knew. Okay, if one of us slipped, you oh, know, I got, I got you, I got you yeah. sort of thing. So it was um, it was nerve wracking, but then it ended up being seamless, yeah. and we only ended up doing it like four times. Yeah, the and one in the movie is the second time we did it. <laughs> Well, this seems excessive. Shotgun. Just kidding. I don't have one.